Welcome back to the Pioneers. Uh, I'm your host, Chris Hoffman. We saw the baseball, or excuse me, softball team. Now we're going to take a look at the baseball team here as we bring on our analyst, Phil Novotsik. And Phil, the Pioneers have been on a little bit of a roll here lately, winning nine straight games. They go into a four game series with Berea, or excuse me, Brescia. How big is it for the Pioneers to have continued that role going? Oh, they're going to keep it going. There's no doubt about it. I mean, this team's on fire right now. They're pitching, they're hitting, everything's finally clicking on all cylinders. And to be honest, Brescia is not a team that really can compete that well with the Pioneers and we've just seen the Point Park dominate these last couple weeks. Yeah the Pioneers would go in versus Brescia but they play a few games first let's take a look and see how the Pioneers did last week. They played Penn State Beaver finally getting a home series they win both games there first one 16 to 8 second one 11 to nothing a little worrying there Phil seeing the Pioneers give eight runs in that first one but then they shut them out in the second one taking care of business. Yeah, that's just a great game, especially game two, like you said, shutting them out in the second game there. And again, one of the things with that Penn State Beaver team is that they're playing against pitching from Point Park that hasn't pitched all season long. We got to remember their schedule early in the season was very tough, so they're using their four conference starters all year long. Finally, some of these guys had to get out there, shake off the rust a little bit. Fortunately, the hitters had no rust on them as they put up 16 in that first game. And the Pioneers would start their series against Brescia. Friday, or excuse me, Saturday, winning both those games by a score of 3-2 and 5-2. Phil, the bats got slowed down a little bit, but the pitching came through. Only about four combined runs in two games. Bats weren't there as much, but once again, pitching gets it done. Yeah, it's just one of those situations where in baseball a lot of times you see people hitting the ball hard and just right at people, and that's what happened against Brescia. It's just the ball was not bouncing their way, but Point Park found a way to persevere through that fight through and still managed to claw their way to victory. Now the Pioneers would have another set of doubleheader on Sunday versus Brescia University Bearcats. Let's take a look and see how they did in the first game there against the Bearcats. Pioneers all over them. 14-3 was the final score as Nate Spawn would go six in a third inning, giving up one hit, three runs, none of them earned, three strikeouts. Don McDuffie would go three for four with the run, three RBIs. Marlon Leva, two for two with two runs. And Nate Spawn had a no-hitter going until one out into the seventh inning. So Brescia really did not have their A game. And Phil, Nate Spawn just was mowing through that lineup, three up, three down, just putting the bats down I mean you, you go that long without no uh, no hits allowed I mean you're doing something right out there yeah I don't care who you're playing you go six and a third with no hits I mean that's incredible and the thing about Spawn is that he really struggled early in the season we saw him start off 0-3 whereas last year he went 8-0 and on the year so I know he was frustrated but he found a way to get back out there and I think he's finally comfortable again on that home field yeah you mentioned it there had a little rough start to the season is Nate Spawn but definitely one of those big confidence boosters, especially with the coming in conference as well. How big is that now progressively going down the road for him to really build up his confidence with, with IU Southeast coming up this weekend? Oh, it's huge for Spawn and for this team as a whole. He is a guy that really provides a spark plug for this team whenever he's out there on the mound. He's got a lot of energy. He's a tough competitor. And to get him back with his winning ways is really going to be great for this team coming down the home stretch of the season. Let's take a look and see how the Pioneers did in game four this four game series the pioneers won the first three trying to go for the four game sweep keep the winning streak going and they did just that winning by a score of eight to one jordan crowell went three for three with a run scored in two rbis tom burko three for three with a run in an rbi isaiah marsh he also had a no hitter going into the fourth inning but he would go six innings give up two hits one run not earned and had a strikeout and brush uh, the first two games were competitive there phil but then you saw uh, the Sunday games, the Pioneers came, and they displayed their dominance. You look at that, winning 14-3, 8-1, the Pioneers, 22 combined runs in one day. Yeah, that's huge. And like I was saying, those first couple games, it just seemed like the ball could not find a hole anywhere out there on the field. But finally, games three and four, they started to find those gaps in the outfield, get those extra base hits. And I love what Coach Torres has done with his pitching rotation. He switched it up, put Nate Spawn and Isaiah Marsh pitching on the same day in the three, four pitchers. That's been huge for this team. Spawn is a soft-throwing lefty. Isaiah Marsh, a hard-throwing righty with a lot of movement on his fastball. And as we saw, it's tough for hitters to adjust to that. And then uh, going to hitters, the pioneer hitters, we saw on the first day, Marlon Leva and Harvey Marti Carena really didn't have too big of a presence. Day two, they really did. We saw Javi Marti Carena, his first uh, home run of the season, a three-run home run that really blew open game one. Phil, how big is it for those pioneer bats 
especially those two, to really start heating up right now in conference play. It's huge. These are two leaders on the team. They were leaders last season, and you'll remember Javi went down with that ACL injury last year. I think finally, mentally, he is ready to come back. He's been cleared physically for a while now, but I think he's finally starting to get that confidence back that he needs at the plate. Now, Phil, the Pioneers, they continue their winning streak here. They're up to over 20 wins on the season again, well on pace to keep it going. Phil, what do you really see out of this team in weeks to come? Oh, I don't see them losing for the rest of the regular season, and honestly, I see them running through this conference tournament. They're just too hot right now, and not a lot of teams can compete with them. All right, thanks for the stuff there, Phil. We'll be right back, bringing back Tim Hardy as well as we go to the road ahead. Pioneers, they're both on winning streaks. Can anybody stop them? Well, you'll find out right after this on the Pioneer Sideline. 